Hi guys. It is a lovely moonlit evening here in the middle of nowhere in an undisclosed location on this collapsing planet on this lovely November evening. It is the day after Thanksgiving, meaning this is Black Friday 2020, which is officially November 27th, 2020, and I'm going to resist doing a Black Friday rant because it, since it is Friday, no matter what color it is today, it is time for our weekly ecological meltdown roundup rant where I check in with MangaBay.com with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls over there at MangaBay.com for my weekly ecological meltdown roundup rant. And I am Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles. Welcome to your weekly dose of doom and gloom. Um, and as is so often the case, <clears throat> Manga Bay, we're going to start off in Brazil. For anybody who does not understand this, fueled by impunity, invasions surge in Brazil's indigenous lands. After a decade-long struggle, Opterua was officially demarcated as a protected indigenous territory in 2007, exclusively for the use of the Paracanya people who have called it home for generations. But, despite these protections, Opterua has lost about 5% of its forest cover so far as outsiders continue to move in and clear land for pasture, mines, and timber. Deforestation seems to have picked up pace in recent months. Imagine that. Satellites detected 83,000, 83,000, 445 deforestation alerts between August 24th and November 16th, several weeks registering unusually high levels of forest loss. Civil society advocates blame the Bozo Nero administration for the surging deforestation in protected areas. This is Dancy Diaguar of uh, Greenpeace. We have a scenario of a weakening of the environmental agencies, which has been really profound. It's as if we threw a knife in the heart of Brazil's environmental policy. Yes, I... Uh, in Brazil's environmental policy was hard enough to find. Anyway, um, it's, and, and guys, uh, I'm only going to get to a few of these. Uh, there is, it, it's, it's fairly short because of Thanksgiving, and I have dinner on the fire. So, uh, I'm just going to hit a few of these. You can always go on mangabay.com and get this newsletter delivered into your own mailbox. All right. Uh, finally, we have a solution for uh, the hunger crisis in sub-Saharan Africa. As we're going to go over to Madagascar where we find edible insect production ramping up quickly. You know, they, they've already eaten. You know, once you've eaten all of the lemurs and the tortoises and the birds and probably the chameleons, you know, after you've gone through the, the mammals, the birds, the reptiles, and the amphibians, I guess next on the list is insects. In the last two years, two insect farming projects have taken off in Madagascar as a way to provide precious protein while alleviating pressure on lemurs and other wild animals hunted for bushmeat. I think uh, it's called a side dish, called an appetizer or a side dish to your barbecued lemur. But anyway... Um, 
This sounds pretty good. A bacon flavored native plant hopper. All right, I, I'm ready for the bacon flavored native plant hopper. Yes. Uh, anyway, enjoy your bacon flavored native plant hopper while you still can. Okay. Uh, all right, what's going on? And where are we going to go to next? Uh, I'm not sure what this has to do with the collapse of a planet, but I'm not surprised. Sexual harassment is rife in Vietnam's conservation sector. Uh, a survey by this Vietnamese conservation organization found that 82 and a half percent of respondents have experienced some form of sexual harassment in the last two years. Yes, I like this. Those surveyed said they feel most vulnerable while working in the field, particularly when alcohol is involved. Uh, anyway, we're going to move on with this one. Um, you know, more stuff about indigenous land rights. Yes, right. Uh, all right, for anybody who does not understand this, we're, we're going to let Manga Bay explain it to you. If, if I have had a failure to communicate with you guys over the last, what, two and a half years, maybe Manga Bay can explain this to you. Cleanup efforts. Cleanup efforts will not solve the plastic pollution crisis in the world's oceans. Wow, do you think so? A model simulating a device touted to clear plastic from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch shows that it will collect much less than 1% of the ocean's plastic pollution by the year 2150. The study was the first to quantify this absolute joke uh, device's ability to remove marine debris. Yes, do you think so? Just go over there and just vacuum it up out of the ocean. Y y you know, uh, there's more plastic there than there are fish. Just vacuum it up out of sight, out of mind, uh, suck the carbon out of the air, suck the plastic uh, out of the ocean. They're probably sucking the algae uh, out of the manatee springs. Uh, what else are they sucking all around the planet today? Anyway, we will move on. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Uh, where are we going to go next? Gee, you will never believe this, uh, this headline from Indonesia. Indonesian fisheries minister arrested over graft in lobster policy. <laughs> uh... Yes, okay, moving on. Let's go back to Brazil. Uh, this is the, the latest broken record rant from Philip Fernside. The Transpurus is this latest planet-eating uh, road scheme in Brazil. Can you say Chinese? Belt and Road Initiative in action. Uh, the Transpurus, Brazil's very last intact Amazon forest at immediate risk. Brazil's remaining Amazon forest is roughly divided in half by the Purus River just west of the notorious 
Brazilian Highway 319 Highway to the west of the river still lies the vast Transpurus region, intact rainforest stretching all the way to the Peruvian border. To the east of the river, the forest is already heavily deforested, degraded, and fragmented. So what we're talking about here, guys, is the single largest piece of intact rainforest left on planet Earth, and we have Jair Bozo Nero holding the reins as China is knocking on the door. Multiple threats are now closing in on the Transpurus region and expected to increase greatly with the impending reconstruction of Highway 319. Planned, ro planned roads, you know, that, that don't exist now, linked to the main highway would open the entire Transpurus region to land grabbers, organized landless farmers, and other actors from Brazil's arc of deforestation. A massive planned gas and oil project would also, leak, would also likely lead to new road connections to the other planned highways in the Transpurus area, opening even more of the region to invasion. Oil palm and logging companies are among those with an interest in the area. Yes, this very last large block of intact Brazilian Amazon rainforest is essential for ecosystem services, maintaining biodiversity, carbon stocks, and the forest water cycling functions essential for rainfall in other parts of Brazil and neighboring countries. Okay, from uh, the last intact rainforest on this planet, getting ready to fall to the bulldozers, uh, I guess we're going to start, you know, figuring out what is going on with all the dead whales that are not dying by being hit by ships or tangled in fishing line. So the question now being posed by the head-scratching scientist, are industrial chemicals killing rare whales and dolphins? Dozens of whales and dolphins that beached themselves on the U.S. Atlantic coast contained high levels of pollutants and heavy metals in their blubber and liver tissues, a new study shows. For the first time, scientists detected the widely used antibiotic triclosan and the popular herbicide atrazine in rare species that spend their lives hundreds of miles offshore. While these findings suggest these toxins may be contributing to the demise of marine mammals, more research is needed. Do you think so? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we've heard this one before about simply paying farmers and ranchers to keep their forests standing. I'm going to pay Sancho Panza not to chase chipmunks. All right. Uh, why don't we pay the farmers and the ranchers not to breed? Uh, okay, let's go back to, in, to an Indonesian village where we see coal stockpiles threatening the public health and an ancient temple. Yes. For years, the residents of Mu Muara Jambi 
on the Indonesian island of Sumatra have had to breathe air polluted with coal dust from nearby storage facilities. Do you think so? The dust also threatens the uh, a Hindu-Buddhist temple complex constructed from the 17th to 14th century. There you go. Good luck on saving the temple. Uh, yes, okay, here we're going to save Brazil's wildlife by tracking them on WhatsApp and Facebook. There you go. Moving along. Uh, well, we were just talking about dolphins off the coast of the U.S. Let's go down to Ecuador, where we find bottlenose dolphins could entirely disappear from Ecuador's Gulf of Guayaquil. <clears throat> the abundance of bottlenose dolphins in Ecuador's Gulf of Guayaquil has decreased by around 50%. 50% in the last 10 years. Several rivers in Ecuador, as well as neighboring Peru, empty into the Gulf. Yes, and you can imagine what, uh, what is getting emptied into that. But it's actually entangles in fish, entanglements in fishing gear, along with tourism, you know, people, clueless morons, harassing the dolphins uh, and water pollution are all contributing to the dolphins decline and could lead to their disappearance all together in the coming decades. And I love how they put this plural. So 50% of them gone in the last singular decade. So how long should it take the second 50%? Anyway, I think you know where I'm going with this. You will not believe this. We're now going over to Paraguay. Paraguay whistleblowers allege illegal deforestation cover-up. Yes, senior officials in Paraguay's Environment Ministry are allegedly helping cover up illegal deforestation by the country's cattle industry. Unbelievable. Yes. Uh, damning new testimony by current and former ministry employees suggests that in many cases environmental impact assessment applications are made long after the land has been cleared. Yes. Um, looking at this newest report of the major European automakers using leather linked to illegal deforestation in Paraguay. All right, let's see how France is doing in ending deforestation linked to imported soy. Take a wild guess how France is doing. France is falling short, falling short in ending deforestation linked to imported soy. Yes, um, France introduced a national strategy to address deforestation in their supply chains in 2018, but environmental and watchdog NGOs say the country must go beyond voluntary commitments from the companies, you know, doing the deforestation. Yes and mandate an end to trade with producers linked to deforestation. Yes, all right. So, uh, what is going on with the forest fires in Bolivia? Uh, I don't know, does this mean right? I, I can't tell. I guess this means this past week going on right now with not one mention of this word. This is the first mention of this I've ever heard. No mention of this anywhere in the mainstream media this week. 
a million hectares, otherwise known as two and a half million acres ablaze as forest fires sweep across Bolivia. Forest fires have led the departments of Santa Cruz and Chuquisaca to declare a state of disaster. Yes. Uh, the Chicatania and Chaco ecosystems have been the most affected by the fires. Uh, experts say at this point only rain can mitigate the burning, but there is little to no precipitation forecast soon amid the drought. Two and a half million acres. There you go. Okay, let's go back to Indonesia. Wow, you will not believe this. Uh, new rule puts Indonesia's protected forest up for grabs for agribusiness. Indonesia's hilariously labeled Environment Ministry has issued a new regulation allowing protected forest areas to be cleared for a food estate program. The program is aimed at boosting domestic crop supplies. Yes, but critics say it prioritizes the interest of agribusiness at the expense of small farmers and, of course, the environment being destroyed by the agribusiness and the small farmers. Um, Indonesia delisted 26 million hectares, otherwise known as 64 million acres of its forest already over the past 20 years, primarily for large-scale agriculture, and today has 29.7 million hectares, otherwise known as 73 million acres of now protected forest, which is an area the size of Italy. 73 million acres getting ready to uh, go under the bulldozers. Uh, there you go. 73 million acres. Um, anyway, guys, I, I don't know about you, but I'm depressed enough. Uh, the day after Thanksgiving, we actually found something to be thankful for yesterday about Donald Trump saving Bristol Bay from the Pebble Mine in Alaska. And here we are with the old buzzkill, Rhett Butler. Anyway, guys, uh, get out there and enjoy the rest of Black Friday while you still can because uh, it's going to be a strange Christmas on the planet. Bye, guys. I don't know how to turn this thing on.